Hey Sag! Welcome Sagittarius! I'm super excited to be doing this reading for you guys. This is your reading for the month of May 2020. So let's see what's in store for you guys, what messages are wishing to come through, and what advice can you really use in this very intense month ahead? As you probably know by now, today is full moon in Scorpio. And this month we're going to be having very important retrogrades. If you want to know more about them, I definitely encourage you to um, do your research. Venus retrograde, Saturn retrograde, um, Jupiter retrograde this month. So there's a lot going on. Let's see how it's going to be affecting you guys, okay? Messages for Sag. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Sagittarius. What is coming for Sag? I'm taking the cards that fall specifically on the table, guides, angels. In the meantime, because this might take a minute, I invite you guys to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Know that if you click on that subscribe button right now, you're going to make someone's day. You're going to make my day. <laughs> make me really, really happy. Messages for Sag. Messages for Sag. Sun, Moon, and Rising Sagittarius for me. But of course, the Nine of Swords had to come up because it has come up for every single sign. <laughs> Oh, but you got the star. Good start. Okay, and the world. Damn. That's amazing. So line up all of the cards right here and see the complete picture for you guys. Some of you guys may be feeling a little bit anxious this month. I mean, it's only natural with everything that I just mentioned and everything that is going on globally as well. It's only natural for some anxiety to be present. Try not to pay too much attention to it. If it gets a little bit overwhelming, overpowering, make sure that you have a plan in place on how to deal with that anxiety. So just think about it for a second right now. What liberates you from anxiety? Are you a person who needs to work out or write or sleep? What helps you get out of that state of overthinking? Just, just think about it, decide on something, and keep that in the bottom of, like in the back of your mind, so you can know what to do if that arises, all right? Many of you guys may be feeling like you really crave work. Some of you guys have the opportunity to work at this time, and you're trying to make the most of it. Others of you, maybe you're not able to work at this time, and you're craving, craving the possibility of maybe getting a job, craving being able to produce, craving being able to go back to your regular schedule, perhaps. Because I feel like you have been feeling upside down for far too long. You may be feeling like things have been up in the air, undefined, unclear. And you're getting kind of sick of it. It has helped you, though. You have received powerful perspectives. You have learned lots of things. And... You know, you've actually gotten a chance to rest, which is kind of nice. Because you are the Queen of Wands, Sagittarius. If it were for you, with all that fire that you have inside of you, you would never stop. <laughs> you would never stop to rest. You got so much inspiration, so much motivation, so much energy and dreams and abilities. And, you know, you have everything to just go full speed ahead all the time. But that is sometimes uh, counterproductive. And you know it. So this break, this quarantine, this maybe uh, moment in which things have been up in the air that may or may not be related to the global situation. Some of you guys may be feeling this way in relationships. Others of you may be feeling this way professionally. Others as far as health. But this, this has served you. Even if you're not really aware how, it has given you something. The thing is, right now, things don't look clear at all. <laughs> the Seven of Cups, which is this card, always speaks about mental fog. 
feeling like we don't know what's going on and we can't see anything. We don't understand what choice to make. What actual options do we have? What options are really just in our head? It's like we really don't know what's going on and we may be feeling very easily distracted and kind of like carried on to this daydreaming, confusing, escapist tendencies. So, I mean, it's not the best time, if I'm going to be honest with you, it's not the best time to make any important decisions. Because right now you are in a state of transition and you're not the only one. I mean, with the pandemic and everything, I think everybody's going through a bit of this. But there's also people around you, that are directly related to you, that are closing cycles in their lives, important cycles, and are opening new cycles. And that transitional energy whether it is you that's going through that or those around you, that energy is very present. So just let it kind of like be there and has have it its, its effect on you. Ultimately though, even if there's times in which there's conflict, maybe you're struggling to get in the same page with other people, Maybe they're going through transitions and you're going through transitions and the world is going through transitions to such a degree in which you honestly don't know <laughs> what to do. If this is the case, don't you worry because we have the Nine of Cups here. So everything is ultimately all right. You are headed into high, high, high levels of emotional fulfillment. You're going to make decisions in your life that are going to make you feel proud of yourself. People in your life are going to make decisions that you yourself are going to be proud of. There's going to be lots of accomplishments. There's going to be lots of milestones and goals met. Okay, so you don't really need to worry about that. You are definitely going to have all the opportunities that you desire. But you just have to let this month kind of like pass. <laughs> You just have to let the anxiety pass. You just have to let the confusion pass and keep going through the motions. You know, don't, don't invest too much of yourself into it. Don't try to understand why is this happening? Why do I feel this way? Know that many people, I think all signs, as I mentioned earlier in the reading, have had the nine of swords, which is a card of anxiety. So don't, it's not personal. You know what I mean? It's not something that you need to figure out. Just let it be and try to get yourself entertained in other things. Because ultimately, the star card with the Nine of Cups is telling me that everything is going to be more than okay. There's no reason to worry. There may seem at times like there are reasons to worry. With the Seven of Swords, you, I'm sorry, the Seven of Cups, you may, your mind may convince you that there's a lot that's wrong. And that all of those things that you think are wrong are going to hurt you and are going to delay you and are going to affect you. And in your mind, this may seem very real. All these thoughts, insecurities, fears, negative possibilities, they feel very real, but they are not. Okay? You have the star card. This is the universe saying yes to your dreams. This is wishes fulfilled. Dreams coming true, prayers being answered, all things good, okay? All things good. So this is where you're headed. Keep your north. Keep your eye on that like north star and focus on that. Go through the motion motions this month, you know, try to be as positive as possible. But if you feel like at times you're just upside down, then try to enjoy the view. Don't try to change it. Don't try to control everything. Don't try to shift everything. Just enjoy the view. Be upside down. What the hell? <laughs> Why not? Because honestly, the more you're resistant, the more you're going to get anxiety. Okay, so that's my advice for you, Sag. I hope that you have a beautiful month ahead regardless. Um, I'm going to leave my website under this video in case you ever want to check out what I'm up to or if you want to check out the online courses that I offer, the Past Life Regression online course and the Abundance Blueprint online course. Also, if any of you feel like donating or have donated already, 
Thank you guys so much. I can't thank you enough, I swear. Um, if you click on the join button next to the subscribe button, you'll see a menu displayed in front of you of all the possible donations starting from 99 cents. Every single penny is incredibly appreciated. Okay, guys? So thank you so much. I love you and I'll see you very soon. Bye, guys.